First this morning, continuing coverage of last night's GOP debate, seven candidates took the stage at St. Anselm College in New Hampshire. The political landscape has changed since the last debate in Iowa. It made for a very interesting debate, to say the least. In case you missed it, though, Kim Hutcherson has the recap for us this morning. The gloves were off in New Hampshire Saturday. Donald Trump doubled down on his controversial positions. I hit immigration. I hit it very hard. I talked about Muslims. We have a problem. Nobody else wanted to mention the problem. Ted Cruz took aim at the president. This is a president who, in the wake of Paris and the wake of San Bernardino, will not even use the words radical Islamic terrorism, much less focus on defeating the enemy. Candidates slammed the Affordable Care Act. You have to replace it with something that makes sense. It doesn't make sense. They talked about North Korea's missile launch claims. The next president of the United States is going to have to get the United States back in the game. And if a preemptive strike is necessary to keep us safe, then we should do it. That's the, what I worry about the most, uh, frankly, is uh, non-state actors, people who don't have a uniform, people who don't have a country. There were heated exchanges. Here's Marco Rubio and Chris Christie. It's a fine job. I'm glad you ran for it, but it does not prepare you for president of the United States. Chris, your state got hit by a massive snowstorm two weeks ago. You didn't even want to go back. They had to shame you into going back. Oh. And then you stayed there for 36 hours, and then he left and came back to campaign. Donald Trump got booed as well during an exchange with Jeb Bush. How tough is it a to take a times, property from an elderly talk, woman? Let me talk. Quiet. How a tough lot is of it? Times, a lot of times. In just a few days, we'll find out which candidate made the most compelling case to New Hampshire voters. I'm Kim Hutcherson reporting. And just before last night's debate, Carly Fiorina lashed out and called the race rigged because she was not invited to participate. We have a reaction from her in the second half hour of News 2 today, but keep in mind last night's debate came just three days ahead of the New Hampshire primary, which is Tuesday.